All right, now the story of Super 8 follows a kid named Joe Lamb, and he is pretty much the star of this film. And he is, you know, he's torn because in the beginning of the film, his mother was killed in a freak accident. And, of course, him and his father are very upset about this. It skips four months after that, and him and his friends are just, you know, they're hanging out. They're actually trying to make a horror movie because, of course, 1970s, that's all that a bunch of kids want to do is make monster or horror movies or whatever, or zombie movies. So they're out there just making horror movies, and one day, out of nowhere, they're filming right in front of this train track, and this train whizzes by, and it crashes into this uh, truck, and explosions everywhere and out of the rubble something comes out and they don't know what the hell it is of course this thing starts uh disturbing dogs 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 start running away for some reason uh it starts stealing a whole bunch of machinery and stuff for some reason like washing t- machines engines from cars and it also starts taking people they don't know what's going on of course they have to go and find out these kids of course you know they're kids they're like the scooby gang they have to go investigate and that's really the story of super eight i'm going to say what really makes this story work is the characters the characters are really likable definitely the kids and i'll talk about the actors in the acting but really the kids are very likable and everybody else really is except of course the bad guys but i really like the story i'm gonna give the story a nine out of ten let's go on to the acting Okay, now the acting for the film is fantastic. I'll say it right there. And the surprising thing is, most of the characters in this film are kids. So, of course, you have to get kid actors in. If you don't know, kids don't do that well with movies. Look at Star Wars Episode One. There you go. And in this film, it's definitely not the case because you got some really good ones. you got a kid named Joel Courtney who plays the main character, Joel Lamb. And he does a great job. He brings a lot of emotion to his character. And he does some great job with some of the little action scenes here and there. He does a great job. You really like his character and his, and him as an actor. Uh, Riley Griffiths, who plays the... Uh, his, his name is Charles, the fat kid. Uh, he does a great job because he's actually very funny. I really like this character. Uh, Ellie Fanning, who plays the love interest, Alice, of... Joe Lamb, the main character, and, you know, that, that was actually really cool to see, you know, a, a kind of like a somewhat love story in a monster movie, and we've seen that many times, I mean, look, King Kong, you know, there was, there was like a tr- love triangle there, really, and uh, it, it, it was great, and Ellie Fanning was great in the film, you have other people that aren't child actors, like Kyle Chandler, who plays the father of Joe Lamb, uh, Jackson Lamb, and he does a great job showing a lot of emotion, too, and he's a, he's a pretty badass character, um, Noah Emmerich comes in as the uh, the the bad military guy that wants uh, this creature, or whatever the hell it is, uh, and he he's a bad guy. You can definitely tell, and he does a good job, and everybody else does a great job in this film too. I was very surprised by the acting. I'm gonna give the acting a 9.5 out of 10. Let's go on to the special effects and the sci-fi elements of the film. All right, now science fiction and special effects of the film. Let's talk about the science fiction parts. Now, the reason why I'm not going to talk about the action this time is that there is some action in the film, but it's not really all about the action. It's just, you know, stuff flying around. It's not really like you see, kid, like, people actually fighting or something. It's not really action. It's more like stuff is blowing up or something like that. I don't want to talk about that. I really want to talk about that with the special effects. I don't really want to talk about the science fiction, though. The science fiction is actually really cool in this film. It brings us back to maybe the 70s and the 80s where you don't see much of the creature or whatever the hell it is, and that was really cool. Some of the stuff the creature can do, yeah, I mean, you don't see the creature, but some of the stuff you can uh, see him do, like uh, he levitates some stuff, it's really cool. You see it in the trailer, so I'm not really ruining that. Obviously, they would have thought they were ruining it if they put it in the trailer because they don't want anybody to know about this creature. And I will admit, when you see a little bit here and there of the creature, it looks really cool. I thought the science fiction elements worked great for this film. Now let's talk about the special effects. The special effects for a $40 million budgeted movie were phenomenal. I'm just going to say, were amazing. Some of the explosions, definitely that train sequence right in the beginning, which you could see in the trailer, but it's actually much longer in the actual film, is amazing. The creature, when you do see bits and pieces of it, and later on you do see more of it, it looks really, really cool. Some people might not like the design of the creature, but, you know, whatever. Screw them anyway. Uh, some of the explosions, like I said before, were really good. I just really liked the special effects. The special effects were great, and so were the science fiction elements. I'm going to give both of them, because this is its own little category, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. There you go. Now let's talk about the entertainment and wrap this up. Okay, now the entertainment for Super 8. I thought 
this movie was so much fun. It really was. The script was witty. The acting was great. The special effects, the science fiction, the action were all great. The story was interesting. And I love that it paid tribute to all of these 70s movies. Definitely the ones directed by Steven Spielberg. And... And 80s movies also, also, not just 70s. And I just love the hell out of this film. And I'm just going to give the entertainment a 10. I'm just going to give it a 10. And the overall score, so yeah, I can't speak ever. Uh, the overall score of a 38 out of a 40. I think it's one of the best films of this year. Go check it out. Please do, because I don't want this doing bad at the theater, because I want to see more films like this by talented directors. Anyway, there is my review at 30 out of a 40. Check this film out, because it is fantastic. Thank you, and goodbye. What the hell?